Welcome back to another How To series guys. Uh, this one's going to be about body position while falling, which is going to save your back and make you a better tree fella. Roll it! Body position is not saying that really gets spoke about enough when it comes to falling I reckon. Um, I haven't really had the best back growing up but these techniques that I do have kept me going for the last 10 years and my back's as good as it's ever been so I just want to show you guys a couple of things if I can set this camera up I don't have my GoPro today but Drop, dropping a knee is probably one of the most important things to save your back I mean anyone who stands and, and bends their back down like this every tree over and over again nine hours a day that's when the back that's when you get a lot of sciatica and your lower back just gets wasted so my first my first tip I'd say is always drop a knee which leads to a better body position with your direction I normally have this knee facing the tree so I'm nice and square to the tree and it's really easy for me to look up see if you're, on, if you're standing up you've almost got to do this motion which is really bad for your back as well so I always drop a knee back straight Look how much, look how easy it is to look up. And then uh, I'm nice and square to the tree, which automatically lines me up for my direction. Straight that way. So it's kind of like an L face in the tree. It's really easy to turn this way, a little movement, and it's really easy to look up. So dropping a knee is the first thing. The next thing is, um, Use your body to your advantage when you're when you're falling. Like holding holding the saw out in fresh air just puts a lot more strain on your back. So I'll set the camera up and do my scarf and show you what I mean. So my next tip, for body position is, see when I'm, when I'm lining up my bottom cut of my scarf, I've actually got the handle of the saw against my leg, which, um, which makes it easy to keep it level and you're actually using your body to help the saw instead of being out like this, away from the saw. It seems odd, but you better to be closer to the tree and nice and tight so I get right and have it against my leg and then it uh, makes me a lot lot more stable when I'm making my bottom cut so I'll do my bottom cut and then go into my wing cuts <laughs> When you do your wing cuts, you almost want to act like you're doing a squat. You want to push your ass out and not, not bend your back straight over like that. You want to push your ass out like you're about to do a squat and actually keep your back nice and straight. Chuck the drone up and just hover it next to me. It might be easier to explain. I don't have the GoPro, but when I do my back cut, I'm holding the saw, but I'm actually got it against my leg and it just keeps you nice and stable you know when you're doing your back cut you're not you know you're not holding the saw out here that just makes me feel unstable straight away I'm in here I've got it against my leg and it's nice and stable easier if I just chuck the drone up bit of a voiceover up we go, over she goes, last girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
my god, eh, son? Tree just fell over. Oh, Dad's kicking everything. Holy wreck. So anyway, I'm getting in, um, tree. getting in nice and close to the tree here. I've got the saw on the butt of my leg. Pushing against the tree. Bottom cut's the same. Straight back with the wing cuts, like you're doing a squat, like I was saying. Same again, same technique with the back cut. Keep it the same uh, angle as that bottom cut on the scarf. Just makes for a nice stump. You see how easy and how much I can look up? Just because I feel comfortable on, on how I'm cutting. So I'm looking up and then I'm out of there. Chain break on. Get back. Tree goes over. Sweet ass, guys. Hopefully that was a little bit easier to see with the drone. But you can see with the um with the stumps. You know, you get nice stumps because your body position is aligning you to do things correctly. It's not just you've got to hold the saw on this angle, it's I'm using my my hips and my legs and my posture to actually hold me straight. So when I'm back cutting, I'm focusing on the hazards more than I'm focusing on the stump. Because I know I'm aligned, so I feel comfortable to look up more. You know, so I can spot more hazards. So And everyone might do it different. You, you might put your left knee down and your right knee up. You know, you, you can still use your leg as leverage, the butt of the, the butt of the saw in there, with a straight back, nice and close to the tree, easy to look up, and you can still achieve the same thing. You just find your own way of doing it, but you've got to use your body. If you're out like this, it's really hard to, you know, if you look at the stump, The, my bottom cut of my scarf and my back cut is the same level because like once again I keep saying it but I'm using the same body technique when I cut I'm using my leg to hold the saw so when I'm doing my bottom cut I'm nice and stable and straight and I'm using my hip or my leg when I do my back cut with a straight back so it's a lot of most fallers out there probably do it but just in case it helps someone Roger tank nice big butts through here nice big butt back there yeah what it, what I've explained today is only remember it's only one one piece of the puzzle guys here's another one You know, these, these heaps of steps and heaps of different things to become a good faller. Go back and watch my how-to series on how to cut a tree, uphill falling, uh, correct fouling techniques. Yeah, it's all just little, little pieces of the puzzle to become a better faller. And like I always say guys, this is only, this is only the way I do it. I, I never say... This is the best way in the world to do it. This is just the way I do it. So if you want to take anything out of it, do it. If not, stick to how you do it. As long as you're looking up and you're safe, then you know, you, you do your thing. But a lot of the stuff, I've had the pleasure of working with so many good fallers. Um, brother Ben, Ben MacArthur, Ben 10, brother Dunk, everyone knows Duncan off my YouTube channel. Um, brother Nate Carps, fuck the list goes on, Byron, brother Ross Allen, aka Irish, um, shit I'm gonna end up missing people out, Kim Mason, fuck when I first started, he was a massive influence on me, so this is like 10 years worth of knowledge, and I'm just um, trying to get it out there, you know it could help some people, so yeah, oh, I won't go on guys, I'll leave it there, um, yeah, I'll be looking to do a lot more of these videos, just little bits at a time, and hopefully it can um, help.
help some young fallers out there or just anyone in general so and a big shout out to everyone that bought a hoodie too hoodie or a top yeah mean tops man can't take it off go to um belongcamo.com if you want to go check the gears out yeah old julian done a primo job with this um pine needle whitey wood pine cones new zealand forestry design so and obviously forestry approved otherwise i wouldn't be wearing it so yeah cheers guys until the next one